All right, on this day, 25 years ago, the all-news radio station we all know and love as 680 News officially launched. And that means we've done the math. Traffic and weather together on the ones has been repeated 1.3 million times. And we are at 680 Studio at Bloor and Ted Rogers Way, joining the 25th anniversary celebration with their news team there, including morning show reporter Jeff Roholman. Jeff, the champagne flowing there? I mean, yeah, it's never too early, right? It's noon somewhere. <laughs> it's always good. Get it going. And, and you got some guests. Amber LeBlanc was my intern down in Windsor 25 years ago. How are you, Amber? Amber you were Roger's intern down at Windsor. I was. Hi, Roger. Hi, Roger. <laughs> well, we worked together. I got a job after that. It wasn't like I was just an intern and then I left. You know, I you've done all right. Roger, and that was awesome. Uh, yeah, you've done all right, eh? Uh, yeah, not bad. <laughs> <laughs> How are things going down there? How's the uh, celebration? The celebration is going. I mean, we, we just started. As you can see, we got we have our green popcorn here. We have our nice flowers. Yeah, the celebration is, is ongoing. 25 years. I mean, not to make anyone here feel old, but I was 10 when the station launched. But, you know, it's 25 years of all news. We're, we're very excited about, about this. And, you know, I have the major celebrity next to me as well, who's a staple with 680 News, Mike Apple, who was, I guess, kind of a day one person, but not necessarily a day one. Room. You were in the I room for day one. Room. I was in the room, but on air day two, doing business. So, and uh, 25 years later, still doing business. Here you are. Strangely. <laughs> little little yeah. more clean shaven. A little bit. Better little tie. Better dress. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. And, uh, you know, the uh, times have changed dramatically over that, uh, uh, certainly that uh, amount of time. Absolutely. You know, when we're looking at the technology that we used back then and how we did things, reel-to-reel -reel tape, carts, you know, uh, now it's all fully digital on various multi-social media platforms, whether it's Instagram at, at 680 News or, uh, you know, Facebook or Twitter or what have you, interconnected all the time, 24-7. And, you know, you have to go, go back in that time when 680 CFTR was a juggernaut in the Toronto radio market as a top 40 station. And the late Ted Rogers gave the green light to this foresight vision saying, yeah, go with that. You know, you're going to lose money at the start, <laughs> but it's going to be great. And 25 years later, here we are. Here we are. Yeah, indeed. And and Amber, of course, is the news director here. So, you know, Amber, for, you know, we, we do so many things here. We have so many hats that we, we sort of juggle around the station. We do. And, you know, what we've always focused on is breaking news, traffic, and weather. And that's, you know, what we do. And Ted Rogers had a saying, the best is yet to come. We've got 25 years down in 680 News, and we're hoping for 25 more of being useful for our listeners. And thank you so much to our listeners for sticking with us and being loyal. And we just want to do right by you. So thanks to the listeners for sticking with us and making us successful. Yeah, absolutely. And it's not all, you know, it, it's serious news, but we also have a little bit of fun here uh, at 680. As you can see on our Instagram account at 680 News, you know, we had uh, Kim Coates. I know you guys had him in on Breakfast Television. Our uh, Sam Knight is a, was a big fan, so I went, ran down the hall and got him in here. And, and, you know, the news never stops, so she made him wait for her to uh, take a picture with her because uh, she had uh, some news to do. But, you know, I have to go on air. You, Apple has to go on air. <laughs> That's... This is live, live news, guys. Yeah. One earpiece out, the other one on. Here we go. The man's a professional. The man is a professional. Does it, don't Apple and I look like the modern-day Bert and Ernie? <laughs> We're best we are best friends. I knew Apple when he had hair. You knew? Uh, yeah, wow. Yeah, no, no. That's, that's, <laughs> <laughs> we don't bring that up, Roger. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we oh we apparently have photos of Apple with hair coming up. Let them know, Jeff. The, yes, there are there are a lot of uh, a lot of pictures of uh, you know the classic pictures of the newsroom, um, be it Apple, Paul Cook, who's our morning anchor, 20 years doing the morning show, uh, Marlene Oliver, who's a legend. We have you know John Stahl, Jamie Pulfers here, Sam Knight's our editor, Laura Let's... Kearney's our writer, Steve Burkhart is uh, audio editing for us. We got a full newsroom even at 6:30 in the morning. It's always busy there. The news never stops, right? The news never stops, and of course, traffic and weather together on the ones. You know, Eva Fragiscatos, a friend of Breakfast Television, is here. We have Helena Balka as well in traffic, keeping us, uh, you know, abreast of what's going on on the highways and whatnot. And and Jill Taylor doing the weather as well. We have, uh, you know, full staff even at, at 6.30 in the morning. All right, Jeff, thanks very much for the tour and chatting with everybody. Uh, enjoy the celebrations. We'll be, we'll be back in in the next little while as well. Thanks very much.